I used to watch videos on speed. They used to cover Kelly properly, like it was line by line from Kelly. So that was really helpful. And also the questions in speed were nice. They used to cover both Kelly and Hodgeberg. And I would like to thank Speed for guiding me through this. So I bring in all the wishes and greetings on behalf of all the faculty members of uh, Speed Medical Institute and team of Speed uh, for Dr. Uh, Shrayanka Mahapatra for scoring a topmost rank of CML2 and AML3 in specialty of DM Rheumatology in session of INESS October 2024. Congratulations to you. Thank you, sir. Great. Doctor, can we know a detailed background history from where you started till date, what all you have achieved? Uh, I'm from uh, Raurkala, Odisha. So I did my UG from Ames Bhubaneswar. Then I did my PG from PGI Chandigarh. And uh, this was my second attempt at INISS. And uh, the first attempt was during my MD exams. So this time I was lucky I could pack it. I believe that the rheumatology there are two seats. Uh, there are like, there's one seat in PGI, two in Jitmar. Uh, one in Ames Bilaspur and one in Ames Rishikesh. So increased. There was initially to now I think five. Yeah. Huh? yeah, so yeah. I, you are in a very safe zone. So now uh, with the chances of where you are aiming at all, all this institute, I mean, what is the thing that is going to happen now? Uh, most likely I will get a seat in Jipmer Puducherry. So mostly I will be joining there. So right now you are in? Right now I am in Chandigarh because my MD just ended in uh, August end. So I was preparing here. So, so welcome to Pondicherry. You have to come through Chennai and reach Pondicherry. Yeah, Most welcome. Thank you. And I, I mean, uh, in case in Jigmar, it's a great institute. And also, and you'll definitely like the place and your residency also and in SS. And we want to know from how, what, where you started, how you started to achieve this topmost rank. During my junior residency, we have a compulsory posting in our rheumatology department for one month during our third semester. So that was a great one month. Like it's uh, it's an amazing opportunity to see all kinds of patients. The senior residents are great and obviously our faculty uh, members are great. Like we have some of the topmost people in rheumatology in our department at PGI. So it's really nice and uh, they in fact inspire a lot of us to uh, try for rheumatology. So that's where I got my inspiration from. And uh, apart from that, I used to study rheumat like a bit during my residency, but uh, I started uh, studying seriously after my PG ended. Like from the beginning of September, I started properly studying for this exam. And, uh, so that's great. So, how many hours do you generally you spend for this? preparation and what all you did in that time. Uh, can we know a little detail on your preparation strategies? Like when uh, after our MD exam, we used to have, uh, we were still having duties at our hospital. So every day I could uh, give like uh, one, two hours for studying. After my residency ended, I could, I had the entire day to myself. So I would spend like four, five hours in the morning and uh, four, five hours in the evening for the for my studies so i used to make notes for all the topics because i didn't want to open the book just before the day of the exam because it's very overwhelming to see that there, there's so much to study so i used to make notes and after each topic i would solve as much as many M mcqs as possible and uh, like i studied kelly uh, for all the important topics as well as harrison and a few topics from hodgeberg and uh, appear tests towards the end of my preparation and uh, it, it's important to go through the explanation for each and every question because uh, that no, that doesn't just help us for that particular question but also uh, tells uh, gives us information regarding a lot of other topics as well or related topics as well so and uh, definitely i used to watch videos on speed and uh, they used to cover kelly properly like it was line by line from kelly so that was uh, really helpful and also the questions in speed were nice. They used to cover both Kelly and Hodgeberg. So basically that was it. Good. So second attempt only in ESS because all through Institute from MBS. Uh, yeah. <laughs> PG and so specialty also the mindset is to do in an institute. And uh, second strong attempt, a lot of hard work and perseverance. 
definitely required and we have achieved it now what do you want to tell your juniors or friends who are aspiring for team rheumatology what mindset they should have and how should they go about like they should uh, definitely keep studying like consistency is important and uh, a lot of uh, i mean it's a lot of stress obviously so but but it's important not to get overwhelmed by it i used to exercise a lot during my preparation because there was nothing else to do just study or studying all day can really take a toll so i used to take out like 2 hours every day for like some physical activity so that it would take my mind off all the stress so that is important and uh, also it's important to go through all the guidelines like acr and ular have guidelines for each and every uh, disease so it's important not just to study the theory theoretical part from the books but it's important to go through the guidelines for everything and for the interview i thought that they would ask regarding the practical aspects so i focused more on vaccines infections then osteoporosis and these topics because i had seen our consultants uh, going matlab uh, whenever they prescribe something for a patient especially these biologicals they always make sure to like check whether the patient has been vaccinated or not whether they have some uh, other risk factors which might make them prone for side effects so that that was important and that also helped me to uh, answer a few questions for the interview okay doctor how many questions did you attempt this exam i attempted out of 80 i attempted the uh, 77 questions and uh, i left in uh, in rheumat i left i think one or two questions so medicine was a bit tough this time i mean it wasn't tough per se but the questions were like from uh it was difficult uh, to know where, where in harrison that thing has been mentioned i remember the last time when i appeared for the exam i was it was during my md exam so maybe because i had studied harrison properly like the other other units as well so maybe it medicine felt a bit easier that time than this time but it was fine and rheumatology was it was like uh, a lot of the most of the questions could be answered if one has gone through kelly's properly so so people prepare for institute they already become a specialist their mindset is into a specialty mindset general medicine is taken in a second step i believe i don't know how you took it when uh, pgi it was different because uh, most of the time we are posted in some uh, specialty unit only so maybe that is why like that becomes our target but definitely medicine is important like it's important to be thorough with your medical medicine knowledge and then proceed to a super specialty very good doctor now uh, this is a time to thank and whom all you want to thank you can use this platform to do so who have been part of your career through it i would definitely uh, want to thank my parents uh, who have always supported me they have never questioned any of my decisions regarding my career and my uh, teachers starting from my school to my ug college that is in subneshwar and everyone in pgi and uh, obviously my batchmates here at pgi with, we used to stay here in chandigarh together after our residency and prepare together so it was def- it definitely helped to have friends nearby and i would like to thank speed for guiding me through this great doctor so we once again wish you all the very best and all the success thank for you. a great great career in uh, dm rheumatology as a specialty thank you and definitely you will do well and you do great advance congratulations wishes and thank you will keep us inspiring as we've been doing today itself all the best to you Thank you so much.